Hey everybody, so I just wanted to kind of talk about something and this is not going to be like one of my typical workout, talking about my workout, my fitness routine, this is nothing like that. This is different. I wanted to talk about something that me and my fiance was talking about tonight and I want to explain something. So I'm going to read this Bible verse to you and then I'm going to explain a little bit about what I'm talking about. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to rend and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. This is one of my favorite chapters in the Bible. It goes on a little bit farther, but I'm going to start right there. So, I've been going through a hard time. I have. And I've, I've been going through a hard time for a, a while, like since I lost my mom. And my mom passed away in 2016, so obviously that's a long time. But we all tend to try to hide our pain and I do that myself. I try to bury it as deep as I can because I don't want to appear like I'm a burden up to somebody or that I'm weak or whatever. But I have this philosophy about life and I do not know why that I have refrained from thinking like this, especially here lately when things has got a little rough. But I'm going to give you a, for instance, think about a tree. In the spring, a tree will bloom. The leaves will be pretty and green and have blooms on it. The tree is beautiful. Summer comes, it'll start getting real hot, especially here like in Kentucky where I live. It gets real hot. Some years we have what's almost a drought. And if the leaves don't die then, they definitely will in the fall. So when those leaves begin to die, they fall to the ground and they wither up and they return to the earth. When anything dies, that's what it does. It returns to the earth. So in that season, that tree it sheds what's dead. If those dead leaves and those dead blossoms stayed on the tree, the tree can never bloom again. It can never be beautiful. It can never be what God intended it to be. So God lets those dead things fall to the ground, wither away, and they're gone. That's it. They're gone. Those leaves, those same leaves, those same blooms will never be on that tree again. But when spring comes again, the tree is going to bloom and it's going to be beautiful again because seasons change there is a season for everything in life now when that tree blooms it might be a dry summer that year it might be in a drought so the tree won't bloom to its full potential it won't be as beautiful as it would have been if it would have been a perfect summer and a perfect spring because it's in a drought but when that drought ends and that season changes and spring comes back around or even if it comes a beautiful like rain and that that tree gets what it needs the nourishment that it needs the care that it needs it's going to bloom and it's going to be beautiful but like I said there's a season for everything in life. Our problem is, is that we don't want to let go of the dead things in our life. The things that doesn't have meaning anymore. The things 
that are weighing us down, the things that are keeping us from blooming. We hang on to those dead things so we can't bloom. Just like if that tree had held on to those dead uh, leaves and those dead blossoms, it couldn't bloom. And we do that. We tend to do that. And that is one of our flaws as a human. Something goes wrong in your life. And the first thing, if it gets real bad, the first thing that we typically do is give up. Like we just stop. And then we're stuck in that drought. We're stuck in that drought because we stop. We don't keep going until the rain comes or until the season change. We just stop. So there we are stuck with those dead leaves and those dead blooms and we don't grow. So in this Bible verse, it's talking about there's a season for everything. And if you listen to the words of it as I was reading it or you look it up and read it yourself, there is a season for everything in our life. That Bible verse, those verses right there explain the seasons in your life. You're going to have good seasons. You're going to have bad seasons. You're going to have some of the best seasons ever. And then you're going to have some where it just feels like you're never going to make it. I'm in a drought. And I've been in one, I feel like, for a long time. And I've been searching for the nourishment that I needed. And it's like my nourishment that I need. It's, it's, it's in my heart. It's there. But I don't know how to get to it. But that is when I remember. That's when I need to remember. That seasons change. I have to let go of the dead things. I have to let go of the bad things. The things that I'm holding on to from my past that's holding me back. The things that's hurting me. The things that I blame myself for. The things that I blame other people for. And yes, I do that. I'm guilty of that. I'm admitting to it. The things that is bad from my past, I need to let it go. Yesterday's gone. But that minute just passed while I was talking, it's gone. I'm never going to get that back. But these next few minutes, tomorrow and the day after, if I live that long, if the Lord lets me live and wake up tomorrow, that's another day. My seasons will change. And as my seasons change, I'm going to blossom. But I've got to let the dead things go. So, what I'm saying, what I'm just trying to say, if there's something in your life that you're hanging on to, something that's holding you back, something that you've been hanging on to for a long time, and it's stopping you from being the best that you can be. It's stopping you and holding you back from being the good person and the good and having the good heart that you have, or you know that you're hiding. It's 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 holding you back. Let it go. Let it go. Seasons change. It's gonna hurt. You might struggle through it. I don't know what your situation is. You might be going through a hard spot in life. You may be going through a financial struggle, a marital struggle. You may be going through something with your job or your children. I don't know. You may be going through a personal issue, something that nobody knows about except God. But you have to let the dead things go, the things that's weighing you down, the things that you that is that's weighing on your mind. You have to let it go. Because if you don't let those dead things go, You'll never blossom. You have to move forward, people. There's a season for everything. Remember that. There's always a season. A season of change. For every bad thing in our life, there is a season of change. Always remember that. I hope this helps somebody. I just had it on my mind tonight, and I wanted to share it. So, I love you guys. Even if I don't know you, I love you. And I'm praying for you, and I hope that you'll pray for me too, because Lord knows we all need it right now. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later.